it, it's awesome, I'm kind of speechless at the same time. It's 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 been an amazing time here in Vegas, and uh, now finally I, I I heard my name called, and uh, I'm extremely happy. I'm pumped uh, to be part of this organization. So uh, yeah, extremely happy. How do you look back on the decision to come play junior hockey in North America? Is it all worth it in this moment? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's absolutely worth it and uh, obviously leaving my family behind and uh, kind of living my own life. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely, uh, you're basically, uh, have to leave something behi behind you, but I think it's definitely worth it. I'm super, super happy that I made that decision. How has playing for the Edmonton Oil Kings helped with that transition and helped with your development? Oh, it, it, was, it was huge. I mean, the... Uh, it's probably one of the best organization in the in the whole CHL. So I, I think it, uh, great people there, and and they they made it so much easier for me to, to basically uh, make the make the jump from the European hockey to the to the Canadian hockey. So yeah, it was it's it's it was a great great timing to, to be be part of that organization. And uh, like I say, they they helped me a ton, and uh, they made it so much easier for me. How would you describe your style of game now? Uh, I would say uh, probably a two two way forward, uh, big size. Uh, probably plays more uh, uh, skill game rather than physical game, and that's going to be uh, one of the main main, main things that I'm going to uh, focus on for the for the upcoming seasons to uh, to be more physical and to, to be more engaged in the physical contact and. Uh, I believe that's going to be the, the, the next step that I'm going to make. So your size might help with that a bit. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tall already, but I still need to put uh, so, some pounds on me. So uh, after that, I, I feel like I'm going to be uh, uh, really good in the physical play. What excites you about the Blues organization? Uh, I mean, it's it, it, a little bit of everything. I mean, it's a great city. It's a super nice city. Uh, also, Jack Neighbors, uh, who was playing in the in the for the All Kings and uh, was a captain, is playing there. And, uh, he's had a tremendous season uh, last season. So, uh, also a lot of Czech guys now. So it's definitely interesting uh, to see that uh, there's a lot of uh, guys from from my home home country playing for this organization. So. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited and I can't wait to, to get uh, into the San Luis. You're also a multi-sport athlete. What can you tell us about your tennis background? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been playing tennis uh, since I was a kid and uh, I had to make the decision uh, when I was, uh, I believe, 12, which sport I'm going to uh, go and try to get, uh, try to go pro in and uh, hopefully made the right decision, but uh, now it looks like I, I did, so uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. And you were training with the national program in Czech? Uh, yeah, I, I, I went to, I went for, for one tournament with like the Czech national team and uh, that tournament was uh, in England, so a uh, really cool experience and uh, I'm going to definitely remember that for the rest of my life. How do those uh, skills in tennis translate to hockey? Uh, I think it's a great sport for a hockey player to be honest. I think uh, those quick uh, change of directions, uh, quick starts and stops, reactions for the ball and it, it definitely translates a little bit on the ice as well. So it, I was playing that since uh, I started playing hockey as well. So uh, I think it helped me a ton. Who do you have supporting you here today? I have my mom and dad here and uh, my whole agency. So uh, there's there's a lot, of, a lot of people. What did you think of the steer and just the spectacle out there? Uh, it's 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 crazy. I, I, I have never seen something like that before. And uh, it was my first time here, obviously. and, and they, the, the, all, all of the stuff that they, they were able to, to put in on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the outside of the sphere and inside, it was just spectacular and yeah, it was, it was just crazy, crazy uh, experience. Actually, it's kind of crazy. You're uh, still in Oil King's colors right now, basically. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I don't mind it at all, actually. I mean, uh, I love the, the uh, Oil Kings, and uh, now I'm, I'm sure I'm going to love the St. Louis Blues as well. How well do you know the other Czechs that have been drafted the last couple of years? Uh, I, I know them pretty well, and uh, also this year, uh, definitely like two, two of my I would say best buddies were, were drafted, uh, Adam Yerchik and Andre Goss right, right in front of me. So, like I said, it's, it, it's 
it's super cool to see that, and uh, obviously uh, super super excited to, to get uh, along with them uh, on the on the development camp. Did you text them? Did they text you? Uh, I I texted Adam yesterday, and uh, then uh, Andre found out. I believe like a uh, couple like minutes after I got drafted, and uh, we met downstairs. So uh, yeah, we, we were just saying that it's it's just crazy and we couldn't believe it that that actually happened and uh, obviously super super stoked about it where did you know them from where did you meet them uh yeah just just we just met them downstairs and, and basically I mean, uh, at first where did you first meet them oh oh i i played uh against them or with them like since i was a kid and uh andre lives like probably like an hour hour away from my my place in in Czech Republic so yeah I, I know him super well and uh, I play with uh, Adam since I was a little kid as well um, any of the guys last year Stancil or uh, yeah yeah I know Slovakians yeah yeah I, I know I know Stancil Stancil really as well I play with uh, him on the on the national teams and on some uh, like a, like a select team so he's a he's a great guy and I was uh, I was really, really um, excited to see that the, he he also signed a signed an entry level deal. So uh, that was definitely huge for him. And uh, yeah, just just wish him the best. Organize a blues workout in the summer in, over in Czech. Uh, hopefully, that would be that would be really nice. Actually, yeah, it's he, he lives in Prague, which is like a three and a half hour drive. But I, I, I'm sure I, I, I can make that happen.